This is the, the second part of the of the assembly for the, the OB 1.4. Okay. So with the front rail pair, we need um, the front corners, which look like the back corners, but don't have the uprights on them. Um, you can see I've already pre-installed the nuts on that one. And we have two bar ends for the Y carriage. And we also have the motor holder for the um, Y carriage. So we get the center and then we get the, the two bars. So the, so the, the Y axis is roughly 150 mm space bars. So we're going to stick the motor holder in first and then add the two other bits on the side so the motor holder is like everything else. Screws and you can see I'm going for the pre-installing method with the nuts which uh, was actually suggested to me by someone else who made my first printer and it is a much better way of doing it. It's a lot easier than jiggling around with the nuts. but. Don't be alarmed by the noises, that's uh, just one of my other printers producing something at the moment. Hopefully that won't be too great on us. Now I'm going to roughly put this with the um, this centre line here on the centre line of the bar. I'm actually, it'll actually end up being moved back. Um, in fact when it's in final position it's actually pretty much touching the rod holder on the side. But this is a good starting position. Approximately parallel and just nip everything up. So next up are the bar ends, which use the 8mm M3 machine screws. And that slides on in the usual way. And gets nipped up in the approximate position. Right. So slide that on the other end. So again, nuts pre-installed, slide it on. You know that slid on first time perfectly and now that I've taken it off it's been a bit of a pain in the butt. There. These can go on either way around, if you probably just notice me turning it around then. So again, line it up in the approximate position. It just makes it easier later on if it's roughly right. And then we'll put the ends on. So this is the right hand end. Um, we've got the same situation here again, the top one, which top being that way up. The top one is going to have a, a screw in the end screw in the end grain as well. The other ones are just going to be clamped from the side. So I've already pre-installed the nuts in there. Slide it in. And hopefully it'll go all the way in. that and then before you tighten anything up put the screw in the end grain so tighten up the end grain one then tighten up the other ones and I wouldn't bother um, you might as well tighten them all up pretty good now and you can't really over tighten them too much or oh, you probably can actually someone will find a way to do it but I haven't managed to break anything yet that's that end now I'm just waiting for the one printing behind me for the other end so I'll just take a brief pause and again just uh, using the Preloaded method. 
sliding it onto the nuts with a bit of a wiggle. And installing the, the screw at the end. And there we have it.